Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 20th of March 2019 and we're reporting a slight rise in UK inflation and what this may mean for interest rates in the future. Food and alcohol price rises helped push UK inflation higher in February, the first rise since August 2018. The UK CPI or inflation figures were announced this morning by the Office of National Statistics and shows a rise from 1.8% in January to 1.9% in February. The Office of National Statistics stated that, quote, Inflation overall was stable, with rising food and alcohol prices offset by slower price rises in clothing and footwear. Rising prices for food, alcohol and tobacco and across a range of recreational and cultural goods produce the largest upward contributions. The largest offsetting downward contribution came from clothing and footwear, with prices rising between January and February, but by less than between the same two months a year ago." Unquote. Now, whilst all of this appears fine, it must also be measured against a backdrop of rising wages which are growing at a much faster pace, some 3.4% in fact. Plus the government's cap on energy prices, which caused inflation to fall in January, will be removed or raised in April, thereby potentially causing a further uplift in the inflation rate. Add to this the continuing rise in the price of imported raw materials for businesses and a possible further depreciation of sterling unless a satisfactory Brexit arrangement occurs, the Bank of England may struggle to keep inflation within its 2% target. Our view is supported by Ruth Gregory, senior UK economist at Capital Economics, who told the BBC that inflation was unlikely to stay below 2% for long, as February's rise marked, quote, the start of an upward trend which could see inflation reach 2.5%, by April." Unquote. Fortunately for householders and mortgage holders, the view from the city is that those pressures won't persuade the bank to raise rates yet, especially as the outcome of Brexit remains so unclear. However, the BBC also reports that, quote, if the trend of faster real wage growth continues and a Brexit deal is swiftly agreed, with little disruption to the economy, some economists think there could be a small rate rise later this year." Unquote. Some analysts believe that the next interest rate move is more likely to be down than up. However, if these trends occur, they may in fact be wrong. Either way, it's too early to tell, but we should all at least take notice of these trends and prepare ourselves accordingly. Meanwhile, gold is currently standing at £985, up some £6 since its opening, and silver it stands at £11.59 an ounce, up 9 pence since the beginning of the week. Whereas in US dollar terms, gold is up $4 at 13.05 and silver is up 7 cents at 15.36, awaiting the imminent Fed's decision on interest rates, which we all expect to be benign. What's your view? Please do share. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative and if so please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so Please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.